What's up everybody, I am Ghost Boy Colby. We're back here in Bioshock, in Rapture, and let me address something real quick. Uh, in the last episode of Bioshock, I said I would be recording a lot more within the next few hours. Yeah, that's not really how it happened. Um, basically what happened is that I had been up all night. I tried to sleep, couldn't sleep through the night. Uh, but the, ni the same night that I recorded, um, the Skyrim episode, and then that it went into that morning that I recorded the Bioshock episode. And so my plan was, okay, I hadn't eaten breakfast yet, so I was like, I was going to eat breakfast and then record the very next, this episode right here of Bioshock. And I didn't do that. After I ate, I pretty much just, I, I thought I was going to take a nap, and that nap ended up being like five hours long. And I, I took it at like 9 in the morning, so I slept until like 2 in the afternoon. And so I was like, okay. Well, <laughs> didn't, didn't keep that word. And then uh, I needed to shower, so I took a shower too. And uh, then my dad got home and uh, offered to get some Dairy Queen for me. And so I didn't want, want to record while he was gone because it's not all that far away. I knew he'd be back relatively soon. So I didn't want to be recording an episode and then get interrupted because I knew it would happen. I just, I knew it. It normally only takes like maybe an hour at the most for him to come back from Dairy Queen. So I waited until he got back from Dairy Queen and then he came back with the food and we ate. And yeah, so that's, I, I normally wait until he goes to sleep to record. And normally I shut that door right there so that the sound from the TV in the living room playing doesn't come through, but I'm not necessarily worried about it right now. I'm just worried about getting this episode recorded. Um, I, I guess we're supposed to go to Fort Frolic because we have not gone there yet. Ooh, I think this is the... If this is the part that I think it is, I actually, I like it much more than the Arcadia section. But yeah, that's that's pretty much what happened. That's why I'm only just now getting around to recording this episode. But I am now, and I think that's what matters. Um, I'm really, I'm, I'm sorry about not sticking to these things that I say I'm gonna do. I don't know why. I really, I don't know why I do it. You know, they sound like simple things, and yet I just can't You're fulfill almost them. There. The I don't, know. Orion is up on ahead. don't mistake that for a lack of effort, Orion's though, because I am to trying. Over to a guy named Sander Cohen. Cohen's an artist, says some. He's a Section 8, says I. I've seen all kinds of cutthroats, freaks, and hard cases in my life. Cohen... <laughs> That song uh, plays when you start up the game before you get to the main menu. Uh oh. Okay, we just barely got a possible one. If I didn't have that tonic, this one would have been impossible. Because it gets rid of one alarm and one uh, overload. And I am pretty confident that they would have been exactly in our way. Uh, this one was damn, well, not quite damn near impossible, but just a few tiles away from it, I, I think. And I believe, uh, hacks are gonna start getting a bit more difficult in this area. They're supposed to just from area to area all throughout Rapture. Uh, I don't remember what section it is, but there's gonna be one that has really, really hard hacks. I don't remember which one it is off the top of my head. I don't think... It might be later on in this one. I, I can't remember for sure. But... I think there was one in Arcadia that was like at max difficulty. I wasn't even... I'm pretty sure... I don't remember if it was in Arcadia. I think it was. But yeah, I saw that and... I said, nope. 
Uh, I auto hacked the crap out of me. Where, wherever it was, I don't remember which section it was in, but I do remember auto hacking that bitch. Okay. Um. I don't think we can do this. Oh wait. Oh wait. Okay. Yeah, we can. Just barely. Wait. No. Wait, yes we can. No, we can't. <laughs> um, no matter where I put this, we're screwed. Fuck. Um, see, I need just one more horizontal one. Well, shit. I guess what I should have done is not use these horizontal ones here and just gone straight up. But then I don't think I would have had enough vertical ones for that, would I? Uh, no? I don't think so. I don't know what I did wrong. But let's try again. Oh god, what the hell? No, 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 no. Oh my god. These are getting rough. Holy crap. That was almost a disaster. I hate those ones that make you switch the very first tile because you don't know until you get enough of them uncovered and you only have so much time before it reaches that very first tile, even if you have the thing that slows down the flow speed. Hopefully, hopefully uh, y'all can hear me better in this episode because the last one, I went back and rewatched it, and it turns out that I think I had my microphone volume too low, or maybe too far away from me, or something. I have to have it in a very specific location, and because of that, uh, I don't think that it can hear me as well as it used to. But, oh yeah, with those, uh, those lottery, or slot machines, um, I'm pretty sure it's programmed to where you only ever win the very first one. After that, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to win again. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I, th I think that's how it is. Because no matter who you watch play this, the very first time they use it, they're gonna win. It's, I think it's just part of how the game works. It's just, it's supposed to mirror real life gambling. Uh, normally, they have a saying where if you're winning, just stop. Because you will lose it all, almost guaranteed. Unless you're like, you know, a card counter or somebody, somebody who not necessarily cheats, but like uses techniques that can get you in trouble even if they aren't technically against the rules because they are very very uh particular about that shit but i just wait a minute are we going straight into another bathysphere oh okay we were supposed to and then yeah i see of course Ooh, this is the part i was thinking of Oh, you guys are gonna love this, I think. Ah, that's better. Atlas Ryan. Atlas Ryan. Da 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 da. Time was, you could get something decent on the radio. The artist has a duty to seduce the ear and delight the spirit. So say goodbye to those two blowhards, and hello to an evening with Sander Cohen. Ooh. Yeah. S uh, heads up, Sander's a nut job. Fucking wackadoodle, I'm telling oh, you right now. I haven't seen a sign of real life down here. Oh, I forgot months. about this. Let's see. 
If you're just another Johnny come lately, something Saying Sander is an absolute nut job. Um, I think this part has quite a bit of influence from Phantom of the Opera. Might be wrong about that, but that's the vibe I get from it at least. This part actually gets a little bit macabre. This, one. I've this section so of the game, at least. Tasty to come to this little burg, but all that pass are yokels and rubes. Where are my manners? Come in, come in! Sander Cohen awaits you at the Fleet Hall. There was probably some way I could have uh, lured the splicers around to make them trip off those, uh, just ran into a wall, to make them trip off those, like, electric bolts, or, uh, trap bolts, I, I forget what they're called, but, uh, I wasn't really, ugh, trying to do that, I don't know if I want to try this, wait, did I not, did I not get those extra tonic slots? Where's a gene bank? Uh, hold on. Surely there's one around here. Yeah, yeah. Right over by the UN vent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I have both of these. Oh. Huh. I guess. Hmm. Let me try... Let me look at that hack thing again. Because I thought that I, it said I only have two... It only shows that I have two tonics. Something ain't right. Yeah, no, something is not right. I'm confused. Maybe those are the only ones that apply to that... Sp I guess those are the only ones that apply to that specific hack. Oh. When hacking turret, bots, and kills. Okay, so yeah. I was, I was confused for a second. Sorry about that. I just had to double check. I, things like that throw me off. Should I try it? I don't think I should. I've got the auto hack. Ha <clears throat> I've got the auto hack, so I might as well just auto hack it. Not risk it. Alright, let's get some shotgun shells. Uh, first aid kit, and I think that's it. I think if any part is gonna make us get a little sh uh, sh strapped for cash, I think this is gonna be it. I don't remember... I think eventually we'll find the code to that. No if not, to I'm gonna try to hack it. Uh-oh, I need more vertical ones. Alright, that one was rough to think there would have been even more. Controller batteries are low. That means I'm gonna have to plug it into my laptop. That works. For example, I test you, little mom, but for a reason. 
I test all my disciples. Some shine like galaxies, and some... I don't know how to unlock that. I don't think I've ever unlocked this in the Come game. Now into my home. Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention to what he was saying. I guess we just follow the arrow. If it sounded like there was a question mark at the end of that, that's because there was. Okay, this one should not be that hard. Uh, horizontal ones, please. This one shouldn't be that hard. Famous last words. And then I was shocked to death. Probably sounded like I said shot to death. That's not what I said. I said shocked. But you probably couldn't hear the cut. Not very good with the enunciation. Oh my. Auto hack. Auto hack. I'm pretty sure we've got the ingredients to make uh, more auto hack things, so I don't, I don't think I need to stress out about those too much. A lot of circus of values. Nobody allowed backstage prior to showtime. Off. Fidgety, fidgety, fidgety. Uh, fine. Well, hold on. I'm just following the arrow. Okay, now I'm not following the arrow. Oh, gatherer's garden. Well, I don't think I have enough to get anything here anyways. But I will hack these. If I can. This is where my hacking skills are really going to start getting put to the test. Basically from this point onward. I think there's a brief period, kind of towards the end of the game, where we start getting a bit of a break in terms of hacking difficulty, but I don't... I'm not too sure. I might just be coming up with that. I don't remember, remember for sure. Sometimes I grab the wrong tile, thinking it was a certain one that it was not. I don't know how or why I do it, but I definitely do. There are, oh, I don't know how many examples, maybe like two or three so far into this series where I've done it. I don't think I'm gonna get anything here, but it's nice to kinda mentally mark down that this is where the gatherer's garden is. That was there, yes there was. Ha. Alright, I guess now I'll finally follow the arrow. Uh, that arrow, by the way, is optional. You can turn it off in the settings. It's just I prefer to have it on because I get lost very easily. Dude, if only instead of, like, uh, health and eve, whenever you... Uh, 
uh, successfully hacked something. <laughs> I wish it gave you money. Or I wish there was at least like a tonic that could make it that way. Because I would be fucking rich by now. Yeah, I would have fat stacks. No luck. It's not necessarily because I'm good at the hacking, it's just because I do it so much. I normally don't like to skip the opportunity unless I'm like almost certain that I'm gonna fail. Cigarettes, keeping away from those. They've tempted me a couple times, but I shall stay away from them as much as I can for the entire rest of the game. No promises that I won't have at least one. Pack. Guitar solo, sorry. Uh boom. Regarding your review of Anna Culpepper's latest musical insult, of all the worthy artists in Rapture, why you continue to devote common inches to this musical gremlin is beyond my imagination. Where she is not derivative, she's boring. Where she's not boring, she's obvious. Where she's not obvious, she's dangerous. Music is subjective, dude. There are some people who lack integrity when they make their music, but that doesn't take away their right to make music. Because everybody has the right to make whatever art they want to. In fact, uh, let's make... Now that we're here at the U invent, let's go ahead and make a couple of replacement autom automatic hack tools. And then... Let's go with some more electric gel. Not trap bolts, though, because we do not have the, uh, what's it called? Crossbow. Yet. I don't know if we could have gotten it by now. I don't think we could have. Could you possibly think I would meet with my public now when I'm preparing? Oh, he's in here. Ah, he's right through here. Uh-oh, controller died. Give me a second. Uh, I'm trying to find the end to this damn charger. Here we go. Eh. Technical difficulties, just a second. Hopefully this thing stays plugged in. It's a bit worn out, so sometimes it just kind of slips out. From the, uh... Connection. I want it. I can't get it. The only thing I could pick up, I didn't have enough room for. Or I was already full on. It says I'm supposed to go through there, but... It won't let me. So I guess I go to the solid. God damn, I'm just trying to take the elevator. Uh, 
machine gun? No, I'm not quite comfortable with that amount of ammo. Let's go... I guess pistol. Since we're full with it. Elevator came. Let's go. Oh, this part's fucked. Silence. This part's kind of fucked. Fitzpatrick. This is See the introduction to what we're gonna have to do in this. Use your camera. Take him part. as he is now. So I may remember him. Yeah, that's uh that's the thing of this section. Is that there are certain people that he wants us to kill and then photograph to put together his masterpiece. And now you got Fitzpatrick caught in his mouth. It seems you've got the eye of the shutterbug, little moth. Now, head to the atrium and place his photograph in my masterpiece. And so, our collaboration commences. Oh my. Find Cohen's masterpiece. I don't know why we just had that little spurt of network quality problems. Literally have no idea. Auto hack. Ah! Oh no. Uh. Not a single vertical. Here we go. Uh, Alright, there's a few. And then I need the right elbow piece. One more. Boom. We put together like an hour of me just hacking in this game. I don't know why you would, but you could. I'm not even saying you would, but you could. If you wanted to. I don't know. There we go. Kinda wasted an Eve hypo there, but whatever. I've done that a lot in this game. Just by sheer accident. Ah, fuck. I'm screwed. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh. 
had to take a mulligan. No, I don't play golf. I just, I just know that uh, it's supposedly like a retry or something. I don't know. That's that's how I pe hear people use the word whenever they, you know, want to retry on something. They just say, say, give me a mulligan or something like that. First time I ever heard the word, I'm pretty sure was on a was on an episode of uh, Family Guy. Where, like, at the end, uh, Peter's playing golf with Brian. And he keeps messing up a, a bunch of strokes. You've your own canvas. One you'll paint with the blood of a man I once loved. Yes, I'll send you to Brian. But first, you must be part of my masterpiece. Go to the atrium. Hurry now. My muse is a fickle bitch with a very short attention span. That's a mood. But, uh... Do you see it? When I am dust, this is what they'll point to. My quad tick. My masterpiece. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Touch it. Yeah, this is probably the creepiest part of the game, besides maybe the opening. Arcadia was not very, I don't know. Some parts with the Houdini splices were a little, little freaky, but they didn't touch this section. Yeah, and there's Ah, here we go. And here's the glorious this is just the moment of conception. Out in this place, there are three men, all former disciples of mine, all connected by a common thread. Betrayal. Find them, little moth, and immortalize their mortality in my quad tick. Go. Once they've been sent to their reward, you shall go to yours. A quad tick, by the way, is like a uh, an artistic piece that's made up of four conjoined, I guess you could say images or paintings or whatever. It's like a triptych, but replace tri with quad, because instead of three, there's four. Um, the reason I know the word triptych is because of Marilyn Manson. I'm a fan of his music, and the the albums Antichrist Superstar, Mechanical Animals, and Hollywood are part of his triptych. Basically, they're three concept albums that all relate to each other and after he made them he kind of retroactively decided to say that they were told in reverse i guess because it made more sense to him that way like you could w listen to them either way and still get a full story but if you listen to them in reverse order from uh hollywood to antichrist superstar Apparently there was, uh, you know, apparently the story worked better, I guess. But his triptych isn't used in the traditional definition of what a triptych is. Um, most of the time, I think most famous examples of triptychs have like a religious significance but i just i'm stupid <laughs> well i guess i'm just trying to buy myself time so i can keep talking but yeah most famous examples of triptychs that you'll find have some kind of religious significance I believe there's one that depicts the biblical story of Jesus Christ, 
like from his birth to his crucifixion to his resurrection. And I think um, Marilyn Manson's triptych is basically kind of like a, an edgy, you know, more metal approach to that story. That kind of, in the same, like, in the same breath also kind of satirizes it. Because the name Antichrist Superstar from his second album comes from the... I, I wouldn't... I don't know factually if it's actually the first uh, rock opera, but it's one of the most famous examples of a rock opera. Anti er, it's uh, Jesus Christ Superstar by Andrew Lloyd Webber. And so, yeah, that's, that's where the title comes from, and I think partially the story itself in, like, a satirical sort of I, I don't necessarily know if the right word would be like nihilistic or cynical or just pessimistic no matter how you look at it sort of take on it except with like a modern uh, rock superstar in place of Jesus so yeah a little bit of trivia for you, I guess. I don't know where I'm going. I really don't. There's no arrow, so. I guess I caught that guy's attention. Uh, in a little bit, I think I'm actually gonna stop the episode. Cause I feel like I'm out of time. I probably ran out of time when I got to Cohen's Masterpiece. But I guess this running around now saves me a little bit of time for the next episode, trying to run around and figure out where the hell I'm going then. good headshot and that dude was down. Man, that research has come in handy. Penalty. Subject is dead. Fair enough. I just, you know, wanted to get a good pick. Wanted to commemorate that <laughs> one headshot. Because you can get a headshot and not kill your enemies in this game. It just depends. You can also do that, like, uh, stun enemies mid-air if they're trying to jump at you. If you get a good shot at them. I really do not know where I'm going. Because I swear, I... Did I not already take this elevator? All it does is just take you down there. Am I wrong? Did I miss something? Let me let me test this elevator, and then I'll end the episode. Regardless of where it takes me. By the way, irregardless is grammatically incorrect. Try not to use it, because you'll end up sounding dumb. I can't sugarcoat it. You'll just you'll end up sounding dumb. No matter how smart you are, if you use the word irregardless, it's redundant. Because re regardless, you know, shows that like that that already makes the point. Adding ear in front of it makes the entire word basically uh, like meaningless. Apparently about as meaningless as my attempts to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. Now that I gave that little lecture, uh, I'm gonna end the episode. I think. Yeah. I'll, uh, wait. 
Let me test this out. I guess he's still in there. So yeah, um, I'm stopping it here. Uh, I will be getting all three of those little sisters, by the way. Don't you worry about that. We'll get to that when the time comes. I just, I like to have as much Adam as possible, but I will not harvest any of them. You can be sure of that. I think I've only done it maybe twice. Never done it for a whole playthrough. But I think I've only ever done it twice. Like once as an accident and once when I thought I was going to do it for the whole playthrough. But felt too bad about it and changed my mind. Then I think I just ended up starting the game over. But yeah, no. Not going to harvest them. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say besides sorry for not keeping my word about when I was going to record these. I will get, uh, as I'm recording this, as of right now, this is Friday night. So I will have the, uh, there's really no point in me saying this because by the time this episode goes up, Skyrim will already be long uploaded, but I will have that uploaded before midnight tonight. Um, other than that, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, I think you guys hopefully should enjoy this part more than Arcadia. I know I will. Um, and yeah, other than that, until the next, until the next episode, peace.